Hey guys, here is the video you've all been waiting for, and if I could edit, this is where there would be like a cool graphic that's like, meh, 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 battle of the thrusters, meh, 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 but, you know, get ready. <laughs> So these are all from a thruster haul that I did with Adam and Eve, and I asked if you guys would want kind of like an in-depth review of all of these, so you said yes, overwhelmingly, thank you. I've been getting comments on other videos being like, mm, but it's not the thruster video, so here you go. This is the thruster video. So I will link absolutely everything that I'm talking about down below. You can use the code Ashley, 50% off almost any one item, free shipping in the US and Canada. This is not a video with Adam and Eve. I'm just gonna do some in-depth reviews. And then also I'm going to be giving this like a, an order, like first place to fifth place. And there's also a fail, which we will talk about at the very end, something that just did not work at all. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first one here, this is the Jackrabbit Signature Thrusting Rabbit. Retails for $175 Canadian because, hi, I'm Canadian. Um, and I'm going to do some pros and cons on all of these and then we'll just do some comparisons as well. So. First thing, the really only con that I have of this one is if you can see these little folds right here, this is where like it folds in because it thrusts. You have to be very careful to clean in these. Literally the only con of this one is it takes about 10 extra seconds to clean this one and that's all of the cons that I have. Good shape, good length, very quiet for a thruster. There's probably two that are about this quiet, this one and the next one I'll show you. and it's pretty much unheard of from every other thruster that I've used. They get quite loud. Um, and then my next favorite thing here is that the control panel is very easy to read. So there's a power button, thruster button, vibrate button. Super easy. So you press the power button, they all light up. It's a one press kind of deal. You press the thruster button, pretty quiet. If you have like a TV show or some music playing and you shut your door, you'd be fine. And then add in the vibration here. You can see it gets the bunny ears going. And the one thing that I really like about this, it's it's very small, like clitoral area, right? So it's very targeted vibration. And also the little bunny nose right here is really, really hard. So it's really focused in just on your little bean. Okay, so I'm upping the thrust. So it goes faster, faster, faster. And then it goes back down. So there's about three different thrusting speeds here. You don't get a whole bunch more length, but it definitely adds to the sensation that someone's kind of thrusting into you a little bit. And the vibration is nice. It's very strong. The vibration itself actually is very quiet. Like, very quiet. That's the most powerful one, and it is essentially silent. So pros, pretty much everything. Cons, extra 10 seconds to clean, make sure you get in the folds. This is one, and actually all of these toys I recommend, but this is one because of the folds, I recommend cleaning it before and again after, obviously, use. Next one, we've got the Adam and Eve thruster. This retails for $209 Canadian. This is the first thruster I ever had. Good memories, guys, good memories. So if you compare these two, we'll do some comparisons now, I lied. It's a little bit longer, you get maybe a quarter of an inch of insertable length over the other one, just really at the head there. And then the clit part, this like rabbit ear, way bigger. So this is gonna be more of a targeted sensation. This is gonna be more spread out. So it's gonna just kind of touch your entire clit and the surrounding areas, whereas this is like basically on your bean. And it's a little bit less hard, right? And it is quite flexible as well. So anyways, the control panel on this one, you have a thruster button and you have a vibrate button. So just pressing the thruster button once. A little bit louder than this one is, but still quite quiet. You could definitely drown it out with some music. And then you can see it lights up, so there's three different thrusting levels. So the second one here, and then the third one. The one thing, it doesn't get much louder as it thrusts a little bit stronger. So turning that off and then pressing the vibration. And again, so quiet. like. Literally, rabbit vibrators don't vibrate this quietly. It's crazy. So we'll go through a couple more. Really nice and strong. Then you get into some patterns and you just hold it to shut it off there. So a really nice one. Both of these, 
are pretty interchangeable, honestly. Like, pretty similar length, slightly different shape, but honestly, you can get the job done with either. It depends on if you prefer something that's more straight like this or something that has more curves like this one. This one is about $40 cheaper than this one is, but you get a little bit more thrust on this one. Next, you've got the Adam and Eve Ravishing Rabbit Thruster. This is $167, so the lowest price point of all of them. This control panel, let's talk about that first. You've got what I would assume to be here, the vibration, and then the thrust and then let's talk about how weird this one looks because it is so different from everything else so first of all it like it doesn't look as phallic it looks kind of like an alien vibrator to me a little bit and then also the rabbit here it looks pretty much the same you have the two little ears but you also have these little wings over here which are really nice they like flutter around the side and it doesn't add a lot but it adds a little bit and it's it's nice like it's nice enough that it would be nice if all of these had this it's just a nice little addition so let's turn it on I'm gonna hold the top button here and it kind of jumps to life there everything is lit up so I'm going to press the thruster back here and it spins and it thrusts. So while it's spinning here, it's kind of like a smooth head with beads all around it. So there's a little texture while it's spinning and thrusting. And I will say it's a nice addition to the sensation, but it's not something that I would go out of my way to find something that has a spinning head. It's fun, but it's not a selling feature for me. So you can keep going up with the thrusting. It gets a little stronger, that's the second one. Three, you start to get to the patterns here. I don't love patterns for thrusting personally. It's not my favorite kind of thing. Um, and then as far as loudness, I feel like this one and the Adam and Eve thruster are pretty much on point. Um, this one is the quietest thus far. And then let's go into vibration here. Again, so quiet. So, so, so quiet. You go up second, third, then you get into patterns. It's really strong, it's really nice, it feels really good. Really the only downside for me is if you don't like this shape and if you don't like the spinning. But it's not that it's a con, it's just that for me personally that didn't work as well as something that was just thrusting and vibrated very strongly. So pros for this, honestly, it's a nice shape, it's very smooth, it's very soft, it's that high quality material. I really like these added little like butterfly wings. The only con really, this is really flexible, like you can put it all the way down here, so it isn't as harshly focused on your clit, it kind of moves around and it's very like flimsy. I wish that this was like stuck here a little bit harder because I really like that strong vibration there, but otherwise it's interesting, it's different. It's a little gimmicky, but I kind of like the gimmick, but again, like I said, like 95 times, I wouldn't pay more for it, which is good because it's on the cheaper end so far. This is the one that you guys wanted my thoughts on the most. This is the Infinite Thrusting Sex Machine, retails for $251 Canadian. And okay, this control panel, you've got power button, vibration, thrusting. Let me show you why this is so cool and you guys actually cared about this one. So you hold on the power button, they all light up. I'm gonna press the thrusting button. So, but it is very loud. Let's go through more of the thrusting. Two, three, and back to one. So there's about three different ones. I'm gonna hold that to turn it off. It goes back down. It like, it, th that's the one thing I will say about this that's really nice is it makes sure that it's put back properly. So again, something that's a little bit more difficult to clean. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you kind of like have it on and extended so you can get into all of these folds. But it is nice that it puts itself back together again so it's not out of shape when you go to use it next. And then let's try the vibration here. It's louder than the other ones and it starts off less strong, but it does get pretty much as strong and then you go into the pattern. So the one thing that I heard from you guys as a concern was because it thrusts so much, it probably doesn't have the motor that's gonna keep it going super fast when it's actually inside of you. And I will say that that's kind of true. So what I mean by that is if you put it in just about that much and then you turn it on, it's gonna thrust no problem for sure. But if you bottom out and then you're turning on the thrust, it's not gonna like keep going and puncture through your organs. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not gonna stab you. It's just gonna kind of push its way out and back in. Honestly, I think it's kind of a good thing. It's still strong enough that it works when it's in you but you have to just kind of be right here to get that inside thrusting motion. Whereas if you're bottoming out, you're gonna kind of push it out and back in. And then of course it's a little bit, actually a lot a bit louder than the other ones, but 
Honestly, it's a fun one and it's definitely something that would be a fun gag gift because you could give this to someone, they'd be like, what the fuck? But you know that they'd use it later on because it's cool. And then this last one, I feel conflicted in showing this because I looked for this on the website and it looks like it's sold out. I don't know if it's coming back in stock. I don't know. You could probably find it if you really wanted it. And I would look into it because it's nice. This was the Fun Factory one. And okay, I don't know if you could really classify this as a thruster. It's more of kind of like a, I guess a shaker, a shimmier. It really just pulses. So I'm holding it steady. And can you see that it's kind of pulsing? You just press the fun button down here to turn it on and then there's a plus that goes a little stronger. And this is so weird. Like truly nothing like I've ever seen before, honestly. Um, it's very expensive. I looked at the reviews on the website of this one and people were split. Some people said that it did amazing things for them. I fall in that camp. I really, really like this. It's not strong vibration. It's not a strong movement really at all but what it does it does very well it took me longer to finish but i finished strong you know it was a strong finish and then there were other people in the other camp that was like it's not strong enough it doesn't do enough it just basically rocks in you which is essentially true it does so if you're accustomed to a strong vibration a very like large filling kind of feeling you might not like this um I will say the one thing that's very interesting is the texture of it. It's not like a smooth medical grade silicon like these are, silicone fucking sorry, um, but it is interesting and it's not like a cheap material at all, but it is something that's going to like grab at things. So if you have pets, like if I were to put this on my couch right now and lift it up, oh look at the abundance of cat hair. So you definitely have to clean this one before and after use. I do that for all of my toys anyways just because I think it's more hygienic and I don't want to risk getting like a UTI or something because I was too lazy to take that 15 seconds. But I really, really like this. I don't really want to sit here and be like you need to try it because it's so different. I don't know if you would like it. Um, I honestly didn't think I was gonna like it. Like I turned it on and I was like weird. It's not strong enough. I don't think it's gonna do enough. Like it's just, it barely has a sensation. It just pulsates and rocks. And like, what the fuck is that supposed to do? <laughs> but it works for me. I really enjoy it. Um, it just does good things. Like it's, I like it. I gotta say, man, I like it. And then before we order these from the best to the worst, let's go ahead and talk about our not so honorable mention, Eve's First Thruster. So that one retails for $69 Canadian, and here's the issue that I had with it that literally made me throw it away. So it's waterproof. It says right on the thing, right on the vibrator itself. So I took it into the bath and I was like, dope, we're gonna have a good time. And I did. It was good. I liked using it in the bath actually and I wouldn't use it out of it because it is so fucking loud. Like the beads rotate and it's that material where like if you literally breathe on it you're gonna get shit stuck on it. It's like a very sticky material so the water is really the only place that I like to use things like that. But after the bath, and it, it got the job done, it's fine, I put it out under my sink because I was like this is where I will keep you, this is your new home. And it was full of brown water. I don't know what that was from at all, but I didn't love it and I wasn't about to put that back in my body, so I threw it in the garbage. I don't know if I got a defective one. If you guys have used that one, by all means tell me that like it's just mine. I also, I don't know if maybe I was just using it like submerging it and you were just supposed to use it like in the shower where it wasn't completely underwater. That could absolutely be my bad, but Again, for like the texture of it and the amount of noise that it produces, even in the shower, like it's something that I want to use in the bath where it's fully submerged and like the sound can be muted out. But let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's start with the number one place, which goes to, let's see if I can grab the one that I'm actually going to put it in. No, fuck. First place for me is going to go to this one. So this is the Jack Rabbit and it wins. It wins. This comes in at $175. It's worth the cost. The value definitely exceeds it. It's well made. It's a nice texture. It just, it's a good one and it wins first place. It is the one that I reach for the most. In second place, we've got the Fun Factory and I really kind of hate to do this. I kind of wanted to put this towards the end, but honestly, this is the one that I reach for the next most 
the next most grammar and I really like it but I also want to put that little disclaimer in there that I don't know if everyone's gonna like it and the reviews on this one were really split and this isn't me sitting here being like you need to have it but I just really like it. In third place and honestly this one could be interchanged with first place for sure it is the thruster. This is a classic, this is an OG, it is amazing and it deserves either first or third place. <laughs> in fourth place, you've got the Ravishing Rabbit. I really put this in fourth place just because this is so flexible and I like that really intense vibration and because it's a little bit louder, so it's something that I have to use, or don't have to, but I feel more comfortable using when everyone is out of the house. So for those reasons, this one gets fourth place, but it is still a very well-made good toy. And then in fifth place, we've got the Infinite Thrusting Sex Machine. Again, just for the simple fact that it's very noisy, and it's also, I didn't mention this, but very stiff right here. The, you don't actually get any flexibility at all, so you kind of have to like lay in a very certain way, which I can't believe I didn't mention that. Um, I like a stiff toy. I like something that has a little bit of give so I don't feel like I'm stabbing myself. But that is it, you guys. That is absolutely all of these toys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and you want to see more Battle Of, I could do wands, I could do dildos, I could do whatever the fuck you want. Let me know. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe down below so you don't miss one. And I will see you all very soon. Also, if you're buying a toy, make sure to use the code. I get nothing from it. It is not an affiliate link. You just save yourself some money. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.